Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is April 11th. Uh, we've got kind of a back and forth trade yet as far as grains. Corn ending up a little lower overnight, down two and three quarter cents. Beans up three uh, with wheat down six. So a lot of movement. We do have wheat testing some support areas um, and beans actually making new highs, new recent highs. Uh, and may try to push up to that 930 area if we continue to see this strength. Uh, corn, a lot of back and forth right now, getting ready for a report that's tomorrow. So just a supply and demand report. Um, we're going to end up seeing carry out numbers once again and be reminded of uh, some of these numbers and some of these bigger numbers that we currently have. So for wheat, the trade is expecting to see 977 million carry out. For corn, the average guess is 1.84 billion. And then for beans at 454 million. So big numbers across the board. And we'll see what the market wants to do with that here uh, tomorrow. Primary focus will be weather though. The weather over the next week looks fantastic. A lot of guys out in the West are gonna get moving, keep moving, and probably get a lot planted here over the next week. Temperatures are supposed to warm up and we've got more of a drier bias uh, for most of the Midwest uh, all the way through the weekend. But some talk right now, six to 10 day forecast has a lot of rain for guys down in the plains. So that Kansas, Oklahoma, Texas area, uh, where it's been dry, but some of the totals right now on these weather models, the higher end is totaling up to seven to nine inches for certain areas. That's going to be a little bit too much, but these big rain events may end up continuing, but continue to watch that six to 10 day forecast to see how they're going to materialize. But looking at the weather over the next week, it's going to be pretty good. Today will be the first time that we're going to see corn planting numbers. I don't have any average guesses for you guys yet, but it'll be very low. So maybe three, four, if I had to pick a number, but uh, today though will be the first one. No beans that'll be announced today. Um, and we'll see as we go into the next few weeks when that will be. But looking at wheat, good to excellent ratings. Last week came out at 59% good to excellent, which was better than what the trade was anticipating. And now we could end up seeing steady, maybe even better again. That's what continues to put pressure on wheat and may end up seeing that again as we get closer to these numbers later on this afternoon. Looking at livestock, cattle probably open steady to uh, just mixed a lot of the news out there, relatively light. Box beef coming in mixed. Choice up 18 on Friday. Select down 54. Uh, we'll see what kind of cash news we get this week. But hogs, same thing there. Cutouts, seems like it's up one day, down the next. But 55 cents lower on Friday uh, may end up giving a little bit of a break here for these hogs, at least to start us off today. Stock market up 79 points at this time. Crude oil up 40. And we've got the dollar down about 19 cents. So uh, should give a little boost to commodities as a whole. But we'll see. Report tomorrow. That's the big thing today. Expect a lot of back and forth trade uh, as we set up for this report tomorrow at 11 o'clock. So give us a call if you have any questions. We're here to help you out. You can reach us at 800-262-7538 or check us out on the web at allendale-inc.com. You guys have a great day out there. We'll talk with you again tomorrow. Take care.